Hi, today I'm just going to show you how to install a Windows print driver uh, onto a network printer. In this case it's a Fuji Xerox printer. What you'll need is the printer files to install, so they'll either come on a CD with the printer or you can download them from the manufacturer's website. So with Fuji Xerox you just go to the support and downloads, driver downloads. Okay, just put in the model number of the machine. In this case it's 4430 and it gives me a couple of options. It knows I'm coming from a Windows 7 machine so it'll give me a Windows 7 option and then I can just download that driver and save it to my desktop. Okay from there you just want to go to your devices and printers, add a printer. Okay we're going to do a local printer. If you don't have an existing port pointing to that IP address, you want to create a new port and you want to create a standard TCP IP port. We just go next. Okay, here we actually enter the IP address of the machine. Okay, and just go next. Now this is where we install our print driver. If your print driver is already on your machine, it'll load up the existing print drivers here and you can go to the manufacturer and select that print driver. If not, you want to go to have disk. You can either browse to the CD or the files that you've downloaded. Okay, so I'm browsing to that file. It's coming into the PCL area. Okay, and that's my printer file there. Let's go OK. So I just select the appropriate driver, go next, next, okay you might want to give it a name that's going to uh, mean more to you or you can use the existing name and it's going to install the, the printer files now. You can share the printer from here if you want to but in this case I'm not going to and just finish up. So that actually installs your print driver and that will show up in your printers and devices. You can see it's shown up here. Okay, so from there I can right click it. Okay, um, just a couple of things to note. It's worth in the configuration tab here just going into your bi-directional setup. What this does is it's the print driver talking to the printer. So it sets up all the trays for that print driver and also it, uh, any installable options like a fax kit or postscript or anything like that. So we just go into here, go get information from printer. Okay, you can see it's picked up that IP address, just go OK. So now the print driver is correctly configured. Just apply that. One other thing you might want to do, go to the advanced tab, go to your printing defaults and change your default to black and white so you're not printing colour that you don't actually need. Just apply that too. So from there what I'd do is go to general, print out a test page, just go over to the printer, make sure that pages actually come out and you're done. Printer's all ready to go.